It's a safe move, good to teach uh, two kids. Fist goes in his ear. And now in rear trip, we have a third step. Rear trip, Zadnia. Let's learn how to do it. Hello guys, you're on Sila Partera channel. I was very happy for Fyodor Yemelyanenko. He won in a Bellator fight. Waiting for a semi-final and a final. He did a very good throw, dynamic, beautiful throw. A rear trip, Zadnia Padnoshka. And today I will explain how to do it. I'll tell you mistakes, how to enter properly, how to do it without the jacket. It's going to be interesting. Let's go. Many schools sambo and judo, the first move they do is zadnya patnoshka, a rear trip. It's very easy, safe, good to teach two kids, standard grips. Get the arm. You can grab like that from top, from the bottom. Twist and grip by the elbow. Work the arm. I want this grip. That's my grip. Second hand. Classically, grab lapel a little bit higher. So here's the move. Pull him towards you and twist. Many people do uchikomi. Pull towards you. But it's not just pulling towards you, it's also with a fist. We put it by his ear. And because of that, you get the tension and a twist. And I pull on the arm as well. So here's the move. I twist this way. Other grips. This hand can be on top of the collar. And the same thing, we just pull him towards our far shoulder. Or if there is no grip, he grabs me, I grab you. No second grip yet. And my bicep goes in his ear again. Of course, you cannot strike, but it's got to be dynamic enough. I pull, and arm goes here, and I twist. All the same. If you can grab his jacket in this moment, that's awesome. Third option. When he's far, so we enter, but don't grab the head, get the shoulder. Same move, right here. Over grip, load his shoulder up. Or, like Fedor did, fourth option, he grabbed here, overhook, so double overhook basically, chest to chest, and he was able to twist the guy. Legs. If we far, so this move from far away, you should be tight. If there is even three centimeters between you, he can counter. There is a chance for him to counter. So reduce space, one, two, like a regular uchikomi. And now, in rear trip, we have a third step. One, two. Starter step. Back step. 
And the third step, leg goes between legs again, only from the back. So here's the move. One, two, and between his legs nice and deep. Deeper. Here's the move. Apply pull with your arms as well. Mistakes with legs. Many people do not pull with arms and they start entering from far away. And, and he can counter you. Second, maybe you tight here with the legs, hips, but the body is not working. And again, it could be countered backwards. Super important to twist him. You want his back to be spun and rotated. We're gonna twist him in this angle, few degrees on that angle, that way, backwards. Further. So when we're tight, and in order not to be countered, get your leg deep, toe down, and immediately put it on its heel. This is the move. Toe to heel. So we prop his leg. We pop it. Another common mistake, big mistake. And our guys will counter too. The entrance is too high. You're gonna go slightly below his knee. Right here. Below his knee. If you go high, again you could be countered. It's 50 50. Maybe you will win, maybe he will win. But if you go lower, you have an upper hand. Let's summarize. Twist. And if it's a tight grip, just one step. And drop. Always do throws falling down. And do not release your grip. Whatever grip you had in the beginning, land with that same grip. So let's imagine I grabbed her on the back. I entered, took him down and my grip remains the same. I do not change it. I hold him the same. Or other option. Here. Drop him. And pin. Sometimes you can grab that far leg and keep holding, keep pinning. Another mistake, in Sambo you see it often. You can do this throw in three options. So backwards, directly back. You see I dropped him completely backwards. Also rear trip could be done with a twist when he resists. I start backwards and then I twist him, this way. And sometimes, often, when you twist somebody, you get rolled over. So I scored 4 points and got 4 points scored on me from a pin. A ref stands you up, score 4 is 4, but you're losing because the guy scored later. So move the way that you can pin him right after the throw. Right to the pin. Or if we go lapel here, hold him like this. It's good when opponent chases you. You pull him and he thinks you're gonna throw him forward. And he starts pulling back. And I capitalize on that. Third option of the throw. First is backwards. Second is with rotation. And the third option with a rip. So we entered. We start. And we don't go toes to heel, but rather rip him by lifting our leg. And of course, fall him again. Fall with him again. 
На удержание. For people that do martial arts without jackets, grappling, MMA and such, how did Fedor do that? In order to dominate from the top, you want to load up that arm and the other one as well. If he was holding here, he, he could have been countered. So always drop your elbows down. You see? Your, your elbows, you're wrestling here, he gets his arm on top, try to counter and control his elbows by pinching yours. So double overhooks, pinching your armpit, right stance, and move goes the same way. Pull him towards you and twist. Everything is the same. So you can do it like that as well without the gi. So adopt it for yourself. I watched a video, I forgot his name, I'm, I don't follow Jiu Jitsu much. He's a black belt, they say he's multiple a world champion. And he said I work 70% in gi and 30% in no gi. 70 in a gi, 30 in no gi. So when you do it with a jacket, you can do it more precise. There is lever, pull, control. And once you take the gi off, then you adapt for no jacket. But the feeling is there. That's why. Adapt it to yourself. Watch me doing it with a jacket and adapt it to you. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye, everybody.